This is Max Dunn, and I'm going to show you Silicon Designer in action. This is the very first Silicon Designer, in fact, from way back in 2009. Silicon Designer lets you edit documents online from document templates that you set up in Adobe InDesign. You can change transparency, you can edit text, you can move around objects on the page, and it lets you edit online and then render very high fidelity print output that matches exactly what you've done online. In this particular version, there's an accordion on the left, and this has an item in it for each editable object on the page. When I select an item in the accordion, that object is highlighted on the canvas, and when I select an item on the canvas, it will be highlighted in the accordion with the appropriate tools to edit that object. In this case, we're editing text inside the accordion. In other implementations, we can have just as easily a UI where you're editing directly on the canvas, which some people like to see. Still, all your edits are reflected in real time, so it's not that different. I'm going to move this character up just a little bit, and that's applying a baseline shift to just that one character. So there's some very fine-grained controls over the text itself, and of course you can edit the text content. I can also apply transparency effects to text, including drop shadows or glows, and there's quite a range of effects possible. Again, these come out in print exactly as you're seeing them on the web. It's a pretty simple editor, but it can come up with some very cool results, and we found people using it in extremely different ways across different document types, different workflows, and with different types of user. So we've found it to be a very powerful system and extremely configurable. Thank you.